Hello everyone, I Twinkle Patel on behalf of Mentor Knowledge Management Private Limited welcome you all for today's video. Mentor Knowledge Management Private Limited is a part of education sector since 2004 and with thorough research we have designed a process which involves technology and human intervene for the parents and students to take informed career decisions. So today we are going to talk about a very important topic. What after 12th commerce? Now in this video, we are going to ask a rhetorical question to ourselves. I'm sure that there must be a lot of options that would come in your mind by now. So today we are going to address those questions and mainly address the confusion. So we are going to talk about the commerce field specifically. And as we all know, commerce is a diverse stream. But are we aware about all the career options? We need to see that the doors we are looking at is in the right direction and we have the appropriate key for that. We need to understand this one thing that commerce caters to the distribution aspect of any business. If we look at today's economy, everything comes down to business and hence commerce plays a very important role in all of the processes. So other than traditional career options like chartered accountant or company secretary or BCom, commerce has much more to offer. So abhi tak hume koi bhi ye sawal puchh raha tha ki aap commerce le rahe hain. What do you have in mind? Sabse pehli cheez jab hume knowledge nahi thi to hum yehi bolte the. That's that it's either going to be CA or you want to pursue BCom. So ye kuch fields aise the which were very repetitive in the nature. So we come across a lot of inquiries. We, we get a lot of inquiries where students ask that, you know, what are the career options that are available after commerce? And when we ask them to see where their knowledge stands about the stream, they do not know that it is so diversified and they are only stuck to few of the options, which are very traditional. It is the 21st century. And we need to know that there are lots of updated and upgraded career options that a student can choose from. So are you ready to prepare yourself for the professional world? Because your journey of developing professional readiness begins after 12th. 11th and 12th, when you are studying commerce, aapko bohat sari consistency or persistence ki zarurat hoti hai. So as a student, you realize when you are approaching your 12th boards. But now it is time to develop yourself in a very professional manner because now you'll have to choose a specialized field. Now you'll have to make a career choice which is going to last forever, which is going to be with you forever in your journey of life. So hence, we have to make sure that we are choosing a profession which is matching with our personality and which is in alignment with our personal growth as well. So today we are going to talk about the commerce team specifically and the various career options. How much on career options ke baad mein baat karenge, which most of us fail to look at and which most of us also fail to understand its importance until it's high time. So before we talk about the career options, we are going to understand this very basic fact that commerce as a subject, how does it function? So, when we talk commerce, so you have commerce with maths and commerce without maths. So, these are two options that students have where they can choose from. So, what uh, is importance? Kya rehta hai? So, if you are choosing subjects like economics or you are, or you are doing your finance uh, when you pursue your further career. So, there are some colleges uh, whose requirement is that the student must have studied maths and there are some colleges who do not require maths as a subject. So in accordance to the college that you pick, in accordance to the course that you pick, uh, maths as a subject becomes an important criteria. So therefore, before going or before taking any kind of decision, it is important to know that we, you have all the doors open in front of you. But which one you do you want to enter or which one is meant for you is the question that we are going to ask ourselves today. So let's look into the major career options. So number one would be management. Now, when we talk about commerce, management is the first thing which we 
ओवरसी सो मैनेजमेंट बहुत हर एक हर एक चीजों का बेसिस बन जाता है सो मैनेजमेंट प्रोग्राम जो होते हैं दे आर डिजाइन इन अ वेर इट इट प्रिपेयर एन इंडिविजुअल फॉर द बिजनेस वर्ल्ड एंड इट ऑल्सो गिवस अ वर्ल्ड वाइड चॉइस ऑफ करियर इन द फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स गेट द फंडामेंटल बिजनेस नॉलेज एंड आगे जाकर दे आर ट्रेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेरियस वर्कशॉप के स्टडीज लाइव प्रोजेक्ट प्रेजेंटेशन एक्सेट्रा all of this happens so that the student is ready to solve the complex business problems management programs provide specialization in various fields like marketing information technology finance human resource international business etc now these basic knowledge of all the subjects give the students global management job opportunities now when we talk about management one of the most important quality in the field of management is that you must have leadership skills aapki leadership skills bahut zyada important ho jati hai so to become a successful leader you must motivate your team to achieve more ye identify aap pehle se hi karna start kar uh, kar sakte ho as in if you are in 11th or 12th you, you can reflect upon the last year and see uh, if if there is any sport that you played where you motivate in your friends these are just some qualities where you can self reflect or self analyze yourself but to polish your leader skills uh, leadership skills you need to work on your communication communication is one of the most important skills that we require along with time management as well so time management agar aap time manage nahi kar pa rahe ho apna there is no chance that aap apni leadership skills improve kar sakte ho अगर आप इन जनरल भी कोई भी स्किल इम्प्रूव करना चाहते हो वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट यू हैव टू बी डिसिप्लिन एंड यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन टाइम सो डिसिप्लिन एंड टाइम आर टू इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर्स एज अ लीडर इट इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू इनिशिएट द वर्क क्योंकि इफ देर इज नो इनिशिएशन ऑफ वर्क आप कोई भी गोल अचीव कर नहीं सकते हो सो बहुत सारे मैनेजमेंट की अगर हम बात करें तो मैनेजमेंट इज अ वेरी अम्ब्रेला टर्म काफी ज्यादा ब्रॉड है सो इसके सब फील्ड जो आप एज अ स्टूडेंट परस्यू कर सकते हो दैट इज स्पोर्ट्स मैनेजमेंट फैशन बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट कम्युनिकेशन मैनेजमेंट एविएशन मैनेजमेंट इवेंट मैनेजमेंट एक्सेट्रा बहुत इसके अलावा भी काफी सारे कैटेगरीज में ऑप्शन अवेलेबल होते हैं जो आप मैनेजमेंट के फील्ड में परस्यू कर सकते हो नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इकोनॉमिक्स सो इकोनॉमिक्स इज अ वेरी रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड करियर काफी ज्यादा रिसर्च इन्वॉल्व होती है एंड एज अ स्टूडेंट आपको काफी थोड़ो रहना पड़ता है इन अकॉर्डेंस टू योर वेरियस थ्योरीज प्रिंसिपल्स एंड मॉडल्स एज वेल इकोनॉमिक्स जो होते हैं दे कंडक्ट रिसर्च एंड एनालाइज डेटा एंड ये मार्केट ट्रेंड प्रिडिक्ट करते हैं दीज प्रोफेशनल प्ले अ मेजर रोल इन गिविंग रिकमेंडेशन फॉर सॉल्विंग इकोनॉमिक इश्यूज आज के डेट में भी अगर हम देखा जाए तो देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स जो इन टर्म्स ऑफ today they are predicting how our economy is going to cope up with whatever has happened in past few months now this field has an extremely positive future outlook and they can work in consulting firms private banks as well as bank sectors both in india and abroad ye ek aise field hai jiska scope abroad mein bhi kafi acha hai now they can also make their career as statistician strategist risk management analyst operation research analyst बजट एनालिस्ट एंड सो ऑन सो इनके लिए सबसे ज्यादा जो स्किल्स रिक्वायर्ड रहती है दैट इज नंबर वन मैथमेटिकल एप्टीट्यूड आप यू आर एक्चुअली एनालाइजिंग हाउ द कंट्रीज इकोनॉमी और हाउ कंट्री बजट और इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंट्री और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और कंपनी विच एवर सेक्टर यू आर वर्किंग इन हाउ द फाइनेंस ऑफ इट इज वर्किंग एंड हाउ द इकोनॉमी इज गोइंग टू रिलेट विद इट so your mathematical aptitude is very much required you should also have the knowledge of social science that how culture how social factors are influencing the economy is also something that you need to keep in mind and also because it uh, it has to deal with a lot of number and it has to also parallel with the social science aspect your understanding of complex system is very crucial next we are going to talk about entrepreneurship now if you want to make a career as entrepreneur you need to have the ability to think outside the bo- box entrepreneurs ka kaam hi yahi hota hai that they are thinking in terms of innovation right so 
तो इंटरप्रिनोर्स अपनी इनोवेशन स्किल को यूज करते हुए रिसोर्सेस को रिकलेक्ट करते हैं टू फाइंड न्यू अपॉर्चुनिटीज यूजिंग अनयूजल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज एंड स्किल्स ऑफ रिस्क टेकिंग अबिलिटीज तो इन शॉर्ट ये जो होते हैं दे यूज वेरी अनयूजल कॉम्बिनेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ गैदरिंग रिसोर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट मेकिंग इनोवेशन अकॉर्डिंगली सो अगर हम हिस्ट्री में भी देखें इफ यू लुक एट द हिस्ट्री इन सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी जो इंटरप्रनोर्स थे दे वर कंसिडर्ड एज आर्मी लीडर इन लेटर इन सेवनटीन सेंचुरी इट बिकेम अ कॉमन टॉपिक एवरी वन वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट द टर्म इंटरप्रनोर एंड हाउ दे फंक्शन but later in 18th century they were considered as only dealers who buys and sells goods but in the early 1960s ye term kafi zyada trend mein aa gaya tha and then we started to term the entrepreneurs as innovators ye innovators ke naam se jane gaye so agar hum uh, entrepreneurs ko samajhne jaye let's look at such few of the examples so dhirubhai ambani who is the founder of reliance company who built india's largest private sector is also an an entrepreneur or if we look at narayan murthy who is the founder of infosys technology limited is also an entrepreneur so there are certain certain skills that you require as an entrepreneur number one would be self starter kyunki yahan pe kafi zyada innovations ki zarurat hoti hai and as i also mentioned that you have to look at unusual opportunities aapko resources ko mismatch karna rehta hai to find something that is out of the box and yahan pe aapko cheeze start karni hoti hai so you have to be self starter next thing would be open minded you have to be open minded and think ki kaun sa combination match karega how things are going to work because you are starting something new hence for that capability of thinking you need to have an open mind third would be discipline you are starting something new so the basis of uh entrepreneurship is innovation so you need to make sure that jo cheez aapne start kari hai you are also able to finish it and you will be only able to finish finish it when you are disciplined in your nature also jab aap koi cheez nayi market mein leke aate ho to make sure that people understand your idea and your line of thought it is important that you are able to communicate it with people hence strong people skills are also very important next we are going to talk about finance and banking so this profession is considered as the first step towards understanding the global economy finance uh, finance has become one of the most important de- uh, department of any corporation in the last decade if we look at it any company small or big no matter what every uh, every aspect or every venture requires finance as their backbone so finance if we look at it is a backbone of any organization any company any corporation or any sector so pe- uh, pehle finance career mein three levels hote the mainly so that used to be accounting finance taxation finance or uh, banking and finance but since corporate uh, landscape in india uh, ye field kafi zyada rich and diverse ho gayi hai and there has been a lot of global integ- uh, uh, integration with the presence of mnc's so after this entire scenario by banking and finance ka scope kafi zyada uh, increase ho gaya so student interested in this field can make their career in investment banking corporate finance equity research project finance commercial banking and so more these are just few of the list but the st- uh, but the list is endless and you can specialize in any of these ca- uh, categories so if you want to make your career in uh, finance and banking there are certain skills that you would require so when we talk about you know skills sabse pehle aayega that you need to have a uh, commercial acumen aapko commerce ka na- knowledge hona chahiye you need to have a very thorough uh, knowledge of how commerce works right so it's an import it's an it's important for financial professionals to understand the relationship between a company's fiscal behavior and marketplace demand so ye kafi technical terminology hai but the overall gist would be that aapko commerce kis hisab se kaam kar raha hai in terms of the country in terms of your organization and how things would work between in between 
and second would be that you must have the knowledge of IT software as well. The increased focus on the, the uh, digitalization and automation has encouraged more hiring managers to look towards financial professionals with the right IT skills to leverage new financial systems. So this is something that we definitely must have felt in the past month as well. Third factor would be financial reporting. There is no denying that financial reporting skills is a requisite requirement, particular in growing areas of finance and banking as well. And lastly would be interpersonal skills. Now it is, it is considered that when you're dealing with money, when you're dealing with commerce, you don't have to interact with people, especially if you're working in banking or finance sector. That's just a myth. You need to have very interpersonal skills. Aapki kaafi zada achi because you're de dealing with people within your organizations as well. And to communicate your ideas and your outlook of a particular thing, you have to be very fluent with your vocabulary and have excellent communication skills within your teammate as well. So next, we are going to talk about stock broken, right? So if you are passionate, if you passionately follow the market, if you have a lot of interest in the market and you want to understand how Sensex and Nifty work, you can think about this career. Along with it, you can also, along with it, if you also have interest in handling finance, this might be a perfect fit for you. So the stock brokers are involved in buying and selling of stock, uh, stock market mainly with their clients. Now, inka sabse zada main kaam yehi rata hai that they remain in touch with their clients with necessary updation and also provide expert advice to them. So, in ke liye, to have a thorough uh, research and thorough knowledge of the market is very important. Ye aisi cheez nahi hai that if you have read a book, you will be able to, you know, uh, be good at this field. No. Is particularly continuous learning is very important because you have to be updated with the current market trend. So certain of the skills that are required in this field would be sub first thing first research. Your research should be on everyday basis. You'll have to keep a look at the market and make sure that you're working according to it. Second thing would be focus. Because it's an everyday thing, you have to make sure that you are able to maintain your focus throughout your working period. And also, you have market ke understanding of the market. So, market mein kya fluctuations ho rahe, what, what is happening? So, you have to maintain a record for it. And also, when you are working with the market, you analyzing analyze is very important. So, the analytical skills become, uh, become a primary skill. Right? So, you can, if you have interest in any of these areas and if you, have, if you are keen or curious to know about it, so you can definitely consider this career option. So next would be, we are going to talk about hospitality and tourism. So uh, the, hosp uh, the hospitality industry spans over a wide area of sector, ranging from hotels, restaurants, to airlines. Kafi is a wide field there. So uh, for instance, if you work in a youth, youth hostel, so your working life would be very different to that of someone working in a five-star hotel. So depending upon the size of the organization and what services they provide, you'll have, you'll be able to explore many different career paths. So the skills that you would require in this industry would be cultural awareness. So cultural awareness in terms of when we talk about hospitality and tourism, coffees are the important roles they cut because uh, let's take an example of if you want to visit Hawaii or if you, or if you want to visit Switzerland, why do people go there? Most of the people would go there just because they have this uh, cultural and authentic touch to it. So that is, and people would get change also. So you need to highlight the importance of cultural awareness when you are, uh, you know, going into this field. If you have cultural awareness, hai, you would be very well adjusted with this field. Second would be multitasking. You have, you should be able to do a lot of work uh, at the same time, along with the fact that you will have to work in a team. When we are into the field of hospitality and tourism, teamwork becomes an essential, essential category. 
तो अगर तो आप एक इंडिपेंडेंट वर्कर हो और एंड यू हैव डिफिकल्टी एडजस्टिंग विद अदर पीपल यू माइट एज वेल थिंक अबाउट अदर करियर ऑप्शन बिकॉज दिस वुड वुडन बी अ गुड फिट फॉर यू बिकॉज यू विल हैव टू डील विद योर क्लाइंट एज वेल योर कस्टमर्स एज वेल एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डील विद एंड कम्युनिकेट विद योर टीम वर्कर फोर्थ वुड बी यू शुड हैव एक्सिलेंट कस्टमर सर्विस स्किल you should be willing to help your customers in the best way possible in a way that it also enhances your skills and your uh, your personal growth and also helps the organization to grow so uh, we looked at some of the major career options that are available uh, when we talk about the commerce stream now some of the other career options that you can also consider is number 1 logistics and transport import and export for marketing and advertising sales and you can also pursue a career uh, as a lawyer so kafi sari uh, streams hoti hain jahan pe aap apna uh, kafi sare career options hote hain jahan pe aap apna specialization uh, pick kar sakte ho so we get most of the students commerce field mein jinko ye nahi pata hota hai that they they have a general idea that they want to make their career in commerce but picking the right specialization can be very difficult so we would look at how you can look into it so from the pool of various uh, career doors or opportunities how are you going to identify which one is the best fit for you this is one of the i think uh, if we consider from all the streams commerce as a stream is very difficult jab aapko uh, apna specialization choose karna padta hai because there are infinite specializations that commerce stream has to offer you aur agar aap apna selection kafi perfectly kar lete hain trust me on this you are going to have an amazing life in terms of your professional growth growth as well as your uh, personal growth so how can we identify ki aapke liye perfect fit fit kaun sa hoga it is through the process of triple a So, हमें क्या जानने की जरूरत है सो वॉट डू वी नीड टू नो बिफोर मेकिंग दैट बिग डिसीजन कि हम अपना स्पेशलाइजेशन कौन से फील्ड में करना चाहते हैं सो वी हैव टू नो फाइव थिंग्स नंबर वन वुड बी करियर पर्सनैलिटी आपकी पर्सनैलिटी क्या है वॉट आर यू लाइक वेर वुड यू फिट बेस्ट विच इज गोइंग टू एनहांस योर पर्सनल ग्रोथ एट द एंड ऑफ द डे सेकेंड वुड बी करियर इंटरेस्ट कौन सा ऐसा एरिया है जहाँ पे आपको अगर 12 बजे भी इफ यू लाइक यू नो इफ यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट इट यू विल बी इक्वली इंथ्यूजियास्टिक टू टॉक अबाउट इट सो करियर इंटरेस्ट इज अ वेरी मेजर रोल थर्ड वुड बी करियर मोटिवेटर्स सो करियर इज अ वेरी लाइफ लॉन्ग जर्नी सो इवन आफ्टर टेन इयर्स देर डेफिनेटली कम अ पॉइंट वे यू विल फील लाइक ओके आई नीड आई एम नॉट मोटिवेटेड इनफ सो एट दैट पॉइंट यू विल हैव टू फाइंड समथिंग टू you know so that you have the capability of resilience you are able to bounce back so wahan pe you will have to make sure that you are aware ki aapke motivating factors kaun se hain fourth would be learning style so you will have to pursue your graduation you'll have to do your masters kafi zyada academically you have a lot of time and there'll be a lot of academic or you know milestones that you'll have to set for yourself उसके लिए कौन सी लर्निंग स्टाइल आपके लिए बेस्ट है इवन फॉर योर प्रोफेशनल फील्ड बिकॉज यू हैव टू कीप लर्निंग ईच एंड एवरी डे इफ यू वांट टू कीप एक्सेलिंग इन योर प्रोफेशन सो यू हैव टू बी अ कंटिन्यूस लर्नर कौन सी लर्निंग स्टाइल आपके लिए बेस्ट है यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट इज वेल एंड फाइनली यू नीड टू सी कि आपकी स्किल्स एंड एबिलिटीज कहाँ पे इफ यू आर अ पीपल पर्सन और यू आर सम वन हु इज गुड एट रिसर्च बट नॉट सो गुड एट कम्युनिकेटिंग बट स्टिल यू आर वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड in commerce so aisi kaun si field hai which is going to be a best match and best fit for you so how are we going to know all of these things humne ye paanch cheeze dekh li we came to know that okay what are the things but how are we going to know that which is how you know the question is how so we are going to address how so i'll show you it is through triple a process as i mentioned earlier so ये सारी चीजें स्टैटिस्टिक्स में इट इज गोइंग टू बी प्रेजेंटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू और ये काफी सब्जेक्टिव होगा सो so, अगर आप इन पांचों चीजों को खुद पे एनालाइज करना चाहते हो कि आपकी करियर पर्सनालिटी क्या है आपका करियर इंटरेस्ट मोटिवेटर और आपकी लर्निंग स्टाइल और स्किल्स और एबिलिटीज क्या है तो यू जस्ट 
have to go through the AAA assessment. Now, it is an assessment which is curated with an amalgamation of technology and human intervention. So, it is definitely a short, uh, you know, short, short assessment that will tell you which is the best fit for you. So, I'll just uh, like you'll just go with me to a live demonstration session, and I'll show you that how you can generate your own AAA assessment, right? So you just have to open your Safari or Google, uh, whichever like field you're working in, wherever you are working in. So you just type togethermentor.com, right? And when you type togethermentor.com, a page will open. So this is the website. So first thing first, we'll have to sign up. Hum sabse pehle sign up karenge. So while signing up, you'll just type uh, your username. So um, let's say that I uh, I type Vinny, right? Just an example. So I'll type Vinny uh, at the rate gmail.com, right? And uh, password would you just set your own password, something that you would uh, remember, right? Just make sure that you don't uh, like you remember the password that you are putting. Okay. And then you um, put the location. So if you're from Mumbai, let's say you put Mumbai. And then you have to pick your age. So let's say 19. And after that, you will have a, a section where you'd have to choose from, uh, please select assessment. So you choose start assessment for students. So uh, if, you're, if you're watching this video on your uh, phone, you can open your laptop simultaneously and go through the process with me. Or else you can just note it down and uh, you can, you know, pick it up later. So after that, start assessment for students is something that you've selected. After that, please select. So you have to ch uh, choose from current assessment from 9 to 12th class. Right? So after you have selected current, ass current assessment from 9 to 12th uh, class, there will be another uh, job done. So from this, you will have to uh, select career planning for 11th and 12th commerce students. So this is for you. This is where you will uh, you'll get all your answers. So select that and then uh, please select your current uh, stage. So when we talk about your career, if you're confused, if you have a little bit of information or if you're looking for, for more or you have, uh, you know, uh, you have already thought you what you don't want to do, but you don't have an execution plan. So select accordingly. So I'll just select that I'm confused about various career options. So all you have to do is you have to register yourself. Right. So I'll just uh, save the password for now. And then green tab uh, and, you know, bottom will come that registration has been done successfully. After that, you will have to just sign in simply. So you have to uh, just log in using the email ID that you registered with and then your password right and then you'll have to simply log in so if you have any questions uh, so you feel please feel free to uh, google us or you can also visit our website and you will be able to like connect with us anytime so okay so this is the page that would that would open and this and this will be your own personal dashboard uh, you will have uh, like all the knowledge, like all the blogs would also come up. So this is your personal profile. So what you have to do is that uh, you'll have to click on the my test option. So uh, now before you start with uh, the test, I would just like to give you a few instructions that uh, when you're starting the test, make sure that you have 45 to 50 minutes in your hand because the test is going to take uh, that amount of time accordingly. So make sure that you're well prepared. Right? So you just click on the start test button and the instructions would again pop up. So another instruction would be that make sure that you read all instructions carefully. Because what is going to happen is that we are, as we talked about five dimensions and how it is going to, how you, how, you know, it is going to assess and how you are going to like know about which is the best fit career for you. So five dimensions, ke, uh, jo, instructions that they're going to be very different because they're test different 
so make sure that you are reading the instructions very carefully so uh, yeah because uh, jo ek app skills and aptitude ka jo section hai us wale section mein you are going to have time based questions so it is important that before the time based questions starts you have to be mentally prepared that okay i'm going to have one minute of time and i need to think and you know solve the questions accordingly so you just have to uh, click on the start assessment and then questions are going to come in now another important uh, factor here to consider is that aap jab test de rahe ho you don't have to think ki kya sahi hai ya kya hona chahiye aapke liye ideal career option kya rahega which is you know something that your parents want or something that everyone is going for something that your friends is going for no absolutely no this is only for you agar aap ye identify kar loge ki aap kya chahte ho aap kis cheez mein sabse acche ho there is no need of thinking about anything else right so this uh, this test you have to think ki what is true to you aapke liye kya sach hai aapke aap kya karte ho aur aapko sach mein kya pasand hai so uh, answer the questions accordingly only then we'll have the best results right so this is one place where you just have to be true to yourself and you'll be good to go right so ye test dene ke baad aapke paas kaise report aayegi so i will also show you a sample report wherein you will be able to see after given the giving the test uh, how will your report look like so let's just have a look at the report so this will be your sample report your name would appear here your phone number your basic detail your profiling and then your career profiling would come into the picture if you are aware about what you what you want to do if you if it, if it, if it's something that you are you know uh, ignorant about if you know what you in which direction are you going what are the risk involved what is the action plan which is needed and then we are uh, your career personality would be assessed if you are someone who derives energy from external sources or you derive energy being with people you enjoy being with people or you are someone who likes to be themselves in their own thought process and they perform in that situations much better if you are someone who is very spontaneous in nature if you are someone who is very organized and likes to have things before uh, they are planned you know so these are the factors that you would come to know and this is going to be your own subjective report so this is just a sample report all of the explanations will be given to you here so that even after 6 months if you want to go through your own report you will be able to do so in a in a way that it is that you will be able to understand every factor because it's very comprehensive in its nature so we also focus on the strength what are your strength and we play the strengths in a way that it is going to complement the career uh, career choice that you make or the career options that you consider so let's say for this uh, this student uh, uh, he or she is very loyal they have strong sense of duty they have strong practical skills as well they're very practical in nature and they're good at connecting with people so we will see that how these strengths or any or your personalized strengths how are your personalized strengths going to match with the career that you are going to pick because when we are picking a career we have to make sure that we are polishing our strength we are using it to our advantage right and next thing what would uh, what would be assessed is career interest what are your interest area let's say if you are very social that if if you are dealing with people that is always going to interest you that if you are also going to like if you have artistic skills you are good at dealing with people in a very creative manner you are conventional you are enterprising you can you also have business touch so what are the interest areas that you can work with so that will also be identified and further we are going to talk about the motivators what what motivates you so for this person creativity motivates this person right and also independence so uh, would uh, is someone who would like to uh, work alone but also but work to uh, she would like to work alone but Uh, also would like to gather with people and deal with them so the combination of these things can be very tricky and this is what we are going to understand in this report so and next would be learning style so as i mentioned learning style would 
is very important if you want to excel in any profession so uh, for it, so if you are someone who you know um, understands better if you watch a video if you watch a demonstration if you watch someone do something and that that is how you remember something forever or you are someone who you know if if you listen to them you would remember him very clearly or if you are someone if written one if written something once it is stored in your memory for, forever or you are someone who is a kinesthetic learner for example so as a kinesthetic learner you would uh, learn best by doing so that is in a practical way so you would also get uh, strategies here that what are the strategies that you should adapt in a way that your learning style is enhanced right so all of the list uh, is given here and all of them are very doable we have students who have already like you know adapted this uh, these strategies and they are doing amazingly well in their academics right so next we would talk about our uh, skills and abilities your aptitude so your potential so your potential is very important uh, when you are making a career selection so otherwise if you if you if there is a mismatch with your skills and abilities and your aptitude in the career selection uh, that is made there is a possibility that you would either find it very difficult to uh, pursue that or you would find it very easy and it will be like you know uh, disrespecting your own potential so we don't want that we want something which is uh, in alignment with your personality your aptitude and your potential so um, all these different types of aptitude would be tested and where you need to work on more so that can also be uh, you know strategized then how you can increase your numerical ability or logical ability wherever you are lacking next according to your uh, aptitude according to your uh, career interest career personality and career motivators career clusters are formed which one would be the best fit for you let's say for these students uh, this student human service media and communication business management and arts and language are the topmost uh, options right so after that you would get statistics of all the career options that are available in terms of ratios so career interest and skills and abilities what is the balance between the both and what is the ratio if there is uh, if it is a top choice for you good choice for you is it avoiding choice for you or is it something that is optional and you shouldn't consider so we will be looking at all the top choice that you have right so there will be detailed statistics of all the career options so now a favorite path would be generated that which one is going to be the best fit for you let's say for this student human resource is the best uh, match for for her or him according to uh, his career profile so so here you can see that it's the top choice current interest is 100% and skills and abilities is also 87% so next you would also get work nature that if you are going into the profession of human resource what all are the uh, you know functions that you will have to play what will be your job role and what will be your job de description everything will be mentioned here same will be generated for your uh, your profession whatever career options which will be the best fit, fitted for you uh, similar work nature would be generated for your report as well after that you will you would also be getting your career map uh, for example if you are in 12th uh, and then what are the uh, courses that you require to do in your graduation what are the courses that you require to do in your post graduation for advancement what are the things that you could do what is the market survey we also have a section where market survey of every profession is also highlighted so what is the fees that is there what is the demand in the market what is the salary that you get in the market and also the level of preparation that is required so all of these things would be uh, assessed and after that finally you will have a 32 page uh, 32 pages report along with the summary so after you go through the aaa assessment as i demonstrated you you would be getting your personalized report and uh, i i am pretty sure and i guarantee that there will be lots of clarity in your head and you would definitely have your personalized career strategy by the end of this uh, report and your road map would definitely be uh, clear so yeah you can uh, we 
so definitely check out our uh, further videos if you have any friends that who have difficulty in uh, exploring the career options in terms of science if it's pcb or pcm so you can definitely go to our youtube page and look at those reports uh, uh, those videos as well and i'm pretty sure that they'll also gain clarity so please like subscribe and comment on how you like this video and if it's going to help you in your uh, in taking further career decisions as well thank you so much